Hi everybody, this is Dora from beautiful downtown Sumner McLendon. And we wanted to give you a couple ideas on uh, planting some planters. Uh, a beautiful basket uh, for hanging around your house. Also a deck box. Now's the time to plant those beautiful starters we have and give a boost of color to everything. I just want to give you an idea on how to do it. A lot of this stuff I'm going to show you is to make a beautiful basket that's flowing with color that people just love here in the summer and late spring. So one thing I suggest is million bells. They'll flow over the basket. They're just gorgeous. So keep the million bells in mind. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Then later we'll add a little more dirt to these. So there's one million bell. And I'm using a variety of colors because I like color. I'd, I'd rather them not be all the same. So and this, the color I'm using is the purple. So we're going to do another one here in the hanging basket. So I kind of would like them to be kind of even around the pot so it's all with a nice flow. So also in here, I'm going to put some wave petunias because the wave petunias just are beautiful in the hanging baskets. Um, and I got a purple here to go with it too. So I'm going to put two of these in it. And they're just going to be beautiful when they're all full. So this will just take a second. Then just for a pop of other colors, this is pretty much the, all the purple colors. I want to put some um, Bacapo in there because people love this too. It's a trailer and it looks fantastic in the baskets. So we're going to put a few of those in as well. And boy, by the time summer comes, uh, these are just going to be overflowing and absolutely beautiful. I'm kind of making a mess, but that's okay. That's what gardening's about. And I'm, I don't use gloves. I like to feel the dirt in my hands. That's just how I like to do it. And we'll put one more in there. And this is going to get super, super full by the time it really starts growing. And remember to make sure to add that miracle grow. And this will come up and down and it will just take over and look just extremely beautiful. It's really going to pop with color. Um, in the summertime, your friends and family are going to ask where you bought it. And you can tell them you made it yourself, which is a good thing. And then afterwards, of course, you want to give it a little water. And then this bad boy is going to be ready to hang. And you want to, they love the sun, so you want to make sure you put it in a nice sunny spot. And just uh, early morning watering, night watering is great as well with those. And the same with this. So let me show you the deck box. These, this is going to look really nice uh, hanging over your deck or anywhere you have a nice little spot where you can have some flow. In the center, I like to have a little height. So I'm going to use some geraniums and I'm using the Sunrise White for a nice pop of color in the center. It's gonna look really beautiful. Then I've also got the Royal Lavender, which is a beautiful color. So these are gonna look just beautiful. And you just you don't have to be, you know, gentle, gentle with them. They're, they're forgiving. So if you happen to, it doesn't hurt to break up the root ball a little bit as well. So there we go. And then I'm gonna add a little dirt because I'm a little, a little short here on some soil. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna add a bunch of those trailers in it. That's just gonna really, really make it pop. So I've got, um, let's go with Jenny. Golden Creeping Jenny. This is fantastic. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to just grow and uh, adds a nice, nice pop. And it'll go right over the front eventually. It's just going to be beautiful. Also, we've got some more. This is Scopia Blue. And this will accent. I like a little bit, like I said, a variety of colors. I'm not one to just have all white. or I like to pop it with a little bit of something else as well. 
So we're going to put a couple of those in here. And you know, they don't have to all be in, you know, direct against each other. You can mix it up and put them wherever you want. Like this one, I'm going to put over here, just the opposite side instead of the front. And then a couple more um, Bacapo, because you can't go wrong. That's going to trail down and just look exquisite. This one's kind of rooty, so I'm going to break it up just a little bit. And then one more. And I'm going to put this one about right here. So as you can see, that looks nice and full. And I'm going to add a little more dirt. And I can't believe we're getting this done without a train coming by. It's pretty awesome. So we'll finish this up here. And that's pretty much everything to it, you guys. You just uh, go ahead and make sure you water it, fertilize it. Like I said, every seven to 14 days. And this will just be colorful for you all summer long. Uh, if you have to, with some of the waves, you might want to pick them back when they start growing and getting a little, you'll, you'll see, they'll uh, turn to drop their leaves. So you want to pick them back, but uh, keep them in the sun and uh, they're going to love you forever and they're going to produce for you all summer. Thanks you guys. See you next time.